said, I will do nothing unless I reveal it unto my servants, the prophets. Listen, listen, listen. Only about two months ago, God spoke in New York. And God said, give the people together. God began to shout. Somebody said, the great gathering. 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 God began to speak this word for the people to gather. To begin to gather together. And they did not know why. In only weeks, New York and the Northeast of America experienced the worst hurricane. And none of it came in it in the history. That as we speak right now, half a million homes are destroyed. I don't let, I don't let the news tell you that. Half a million, can you imagine? Half a million homes destroyed. God is releasing that word for England. Gather together. That's why this church is here. It's time for the gathering. It's time for the gathering. It's time to stop being bashful about telling people to come to church. It's time to stop being afraid. Somebody say gather. Talk to me. Somebody say gather. Somebody say the great gathering. You see, God had the great gathering before the flood. Am I right? He had the great gathering before the fire in Sodom and Gomorrah. Come on, somebody. He had the great gathering before the famine in Egypt. Come on, somebody. And God is having the great gathering before the flight when we are going to leave here. Somebody shall gather. Somebody shall gather. Somebody shall gather. You see, what we've got to do first of all, we've got to gather ourselves. The days are over when you don't go to church. I'm sorry. Everybody got to go to church. Nobody should be home while church door open. I got into trouble. If you can't, if you can't handle it now, I'll take the plane and go back tonight. I got to tell it like it is. The days when folks sit home while church open, while pastor preaching in the pulpit, folks watching TV, those days are over. It's gathering time. Somebody say gather. Somebody say gather. So the first thing I want to release in Europe, kind of talking about England here, I'm talking about Europe right now. The first thing I want to release is what I call the gathering anointing. You have got to learn to gather yourself. You got to learn that when, when you don't feel like going to church, you got to show up in church. Come on, somebody. Those days are over when Sunday morning, hey, when you're doing something else than church. Sunday morning, you got to send your children to Sunday school. I'm not talking about you because you, you do it. Someone say, gather. So the number one, you got to gather yourselves. The next thing we got to do is to gather our sons. The Bible says in Genesis 49, 1, it says, Jacob called all his sons together. He gathered his sons and said, I'm going to tell you what's about to happen. No, Jacob was not a prophet, but when trouble was coming, God spoke to Jacob and said, gather all your sons together for trouble is coming. So we, we got to gather our, somebody says self. Talk with me. Somebody say self. Sons. The third people you have got to gather are the strangers. Yes. We can't leave them out there. We got to bring them into the house of God. We got to bring them into the fold. God says, the Bible says, knowing that the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, we are not going to be bashful to go down to the square and open our mouth and preach the gospel. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So help me. Somebody say gather. Somebody say gather. So number one, gather what your self. Come on. Gather your what? Self one number two gather your sons to number three gather the strangers 
Next, gather the souls. The souls. The Bible says in Luke 11, 23, he that gather it not with me, scatter it. That's why this church is here. Glory to God. If you notice, I'm skipping a lot of stuff. Amen. I can't go into any details here. I'm at number four already. In the sermon. Close to the end. Wow! This is it. Gather. Gather. That's a secret. It's the gathering time. It's the gathering time. got to gather the souls. You got to gather the supplies. What are the supplies? You've got to ensure that in this time you're ready to deal with calamity. I don't tell it like it is. I don't tell it like it is. This major famine comes. Whenever God speaks, it appears very feeble until it comes to pass. Hallelujah. We've got to gather. We've got to gather. Turn to your neighbor and say, gather. Turn to your neighbor and say, gather. What are we going to gather? Come on, help me. You're going to gather yourself. Help me out. You're going to gather what? The sons. Three, you're going to gather what? Strangers. Number four, you're going to gather what? The souls. Number five, you're going to gather what? The seeds and the supplies. Give the Lord some praise. Give the Lord some praise. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that gathering anointing is upon you. That gathering anointing is upon you. I'm telling you. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's about to shake the planet. You ain't saying amen with me. You say amen, I will stop. You ain't saying amen, I ain't going to stop. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody say gather. Somebody say, gather. The, and the gathering anointing upon you is about to shake the planet. Take a mind of Nottingham. I'm going to get in trouble here, somebody. If you put the mind on Nottingham, you'll only be in base third. Come on, somebody. Well, put the mind, put that anointing, put that anointing that God has laid on you. I said, I'm going to win the world. God has raised you up. To be a part of God. There ain't no one church can win the world. No one man. Come on. No. Come on, somebody. No one church. Don't try. Don't try to be Billy Graham. All right, those days are over. All the one man ministry over. Because it's in the last days. I'll pour out. Come on, somebody. Of my spirit. Come on, tell me. If you lift yourself too much, if you lift your name, you ain't gonna stay up for long. Come on, lift up the body. Let the body rise up. In the last days, I'll pour out of my you can't help me preach. I'm struggling with jet lag and you will help me. Come on, somebody. I'll pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And young men will see visions. Old men dream dreams. Come on, some and your sons talk to me, and your daughters shall prophesy. I want to glory to God. I just can't let God listen to me. That the, the, the spirit of prophecy is upon you, and some of you don't even realize. But get ready, get ready, get ready. Every one of you here this afternoon, God's gonna be in a talk to you. God don't cause you to be here this afternoon. That tomorrow he doesn't have a good Christian walking around. And all you know is what comes in, in the newspaper. God going to give you revelation, dreams, vision, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, word of counsel. Come on, somebody. Lift your hand and receive it. Come on. I'm messing up this thing. Come on. Lift your hand and receive it. Don't fight revelation, anointing. God said COVID to prophesy. God's creator is he that prophesied. Come on, somebody. Some folks get uncomfortable when the gift of prophecy is released in the church. This is the thing that the devil can't handle. God, I'm Most folks expect you to have a great church, but not to reach the world. The world! God, I'm going to shake the planet. 
You see, there, there are seven kingdoms on the planet. A lot of folks don't understand. I soon tell you why you have Islam and why you have Hindus and why you have Buddhists and why you have atheists. I'm going to tell you why. God has determined seven kingdoms on the planet. The first one is the Egyptian kingdom. That's why they were the first one. Historically. Then you have the Assyrian kingdom. Historically. Then you have the Babylonian. You know the history. Man of God. Then you have the Medo Persian. That's four. Then you have the Grecian. That's five. Then you have the Roman during Christ's time. All these people, they rule the world. Come on, somebody. For everybody who wants to rule the world. But they can't get to number seven. Everybody you can go to six. But you can't get to number seven. Because six is the number for man. But the number from God is seven. You don't know what's going on. You know why you have Islam. You know why you have terrorists. You know why you have everybody fighting. They are fighting for the seven kingdoms.